Although releases from Lake Okeechobee have come to an end this season, the damaging effects at the St. Lucie River are catching the attention of now Miami city leaders. Our Treasure Coast reporter Denise Sawyer was with both Stort and Miami officials today as they toured the river in search of solutions to the ongoing fight against toxic algae. This is my first stop on a water tour. Out on the St. Lucie River that stretches 35 miles long, city leaders from Stewart and Miami are teaming up to tackle ongoing problems with toxic blue green algae. To learn as much as I can about all the issues, then it was heartbreaking. Stewart Vice Mayor says the fight for clean water has reached new heights and requires a joint legislative effort from the local leaders with hopes of getting the attention of state and federal government. Our voice can be louder. Take strong positions on these issues. Issues that do not seem to go away. At times, toxic water would flow from Lake Okeechobee to the Treasure Coast in South Florida. In the city of Miami, we have our own water quality issues. We've had fish kills this year. We've had algae blooms. We've had low oxygen levels. In, in, a, in an odd way, we're fighting the same fight. So by the end of this year, these commissioners plan to tour hard hit areas across the state. Waterways most impacted by blue green algae. No one in the state is immune. Uh, so what happens in Lake Okeechobee and what happens to Stewart certainly does affect us in South Florida and in Miami. Officials say information collected from these boat tours, like this one in Stewart, will be used to draft what they hope will be a joint resolution between the cities of Stewart and Miami that will prioritize water quality.